Rejoice all you lovers of classical music because today I have the perfect spotlight for you. Hello everyone, Sobro Neo GNA Reviews here with a servant spotlight for the only servant in Caldia who doesn't want to be rocked by Amadeus, Antonio Salieri. We'll be examining his stats and skills as well as going over pointers of how to utilize them effectively and an overall grade, comparing him to how he stacks up to the other 3 star servants. Now onto Salieri's stats. Salieri has a max HP of 7,840 and a max attack of 8,125, although due to his Avenger class, he benefits from a 10% bonus damage buff, which makes his real attack stat 8,937. There are no other 3-star Avengers to compare Salieri to, but against 3-star servants as a whole, he has the highest raw attack stat, beating out even Lu Bu. His HP, however, is the lowest among 3-star servants. This huge disparity in stats makes him a glass cannon similar to the Berserker class servants. Taking a look at his skills, his first skill is Innocent Monster rank EX. It grants between 5 to 10 crit stars every turn for 3 turns and increases his crit strength for 3 times over the course of 5 turns between 20 and 30%, both depending on level. His second skill is Armor of Lamentation. It increases his arch card effectiveness for 3 times or 5 turns between 20 and 30% depending on level. And finally his last skill is Flames of Wildfire rank B which decreases the defense of an enemy for 3 hits or 5 turns between 20 and 30% depending on level. For passives he has Avenger rank C which increases his NP gain when receiving damage by 16% but also decreases the debuff resist of all allies except himself by 6%. He also has Oblivion Correction Rank B which increases his crit strength by 8% and Self Restoration Magical Energy Rank C which increases his NP gauge by 3.3% every turn. Moving on to his deck and Noble Phantasm, Salieri has an Arts Buster deck with Quick, Arts Arts, Buster Buster and an Arts Noble Phantasm. His Noble Phantasm, Dio Santissimo Misericordio di Mi, deals heavy damage to all enemies with between a 450 and 750% damage modifier depending on level. It also decreases their arts card resistance for 3 turns between 10 and 30% depending on overcharge. And it decreases the crit start drop rate of all allies by 20% for 3 turns as a demerit. Taking a closer look at his cards, we see that his quick card hits 3 times, his arts hits twice, his buster hits 3 times, and his extra attack hits 5 times. He has an NP gain rate of 0.7% and a star rate of 6.1%. He has some good NP gain despite the low hit counts on his arts card, mainly due to his passives and his good semi-arts deck, but he does have subpar star generating from only one quick card. I know what you're thinking, and yes, Salieri has one of the best sprites in the game. He looks so badass and intimidating, and his animations are absolutely beautiful, bursting with flavor and personality. You should level him and use him on this basis alone. But if gushing about his aesthetics isn't enough to sell you on him, you'll be happy to know that Salieri is also just as unique in terms of his gameplay as well. He does suffer from a very poor HP pool, but in turn he packs an incredibly high attack stat that's on par with the 4 star servants when you account for his class modifier. And despite his low hit counts on his arts cards, he also has some surprisingly good NP gain thanks in large part to his passives and buffs. Speaking of buffs, Salieri's got a lot of them. Arguably his strongest buff comes from his second skill, Armor of Lamentation. This is a standard 30% art steroid which does help buff both his damage and his NP gain. This buff has some incredible synergy with his Noble Phantasm due to its arch resist down effect on enemies so it's even stronger than it looks and it can contribute a lot to helping you out with your NP gain. The cooldown is a short 5 turns but one interesting mechanic about Salieri is that all of his skills have a limited number of hits rather than turns, so you can only make use of this arts buff for 3 hits before it goes away. Which makes timing and careful command card selection extremely important in order to maximize the effectiveness of this skill. Salieri has another powerful source of damage in his third skill, Flames of Wildfire. It's a powerful 30% defense down debuff, which again, only lasts for 3 hits. Unfortunately because of that limitation, the skill usually only lasts for 1 turn, so it should be saved for big burst damage turns like NP Brave Chains. And finally Salieri can provide good crit support thanks to his first skill, Innocent Monster. It provides 10 crit stars per turn for 3 turns and is on a ridiculously low 5 turn cooldown. 
This means that for most of the battle, Salieri has effectively a free max limit broken 2030 on command, and that's absolutely broken. The skill also buffs Salieri's own crit damage by 30%, but unfortunately he has very low star weight, so critting with him is difficult. Recommended skill order for Salieri comes in two flavors. If you want to use him as more of an art support, then prioritize leveling Innocent Monster first, followed by Wildfire next, and then Lamentation last. If you want to make good use of his attack stat, then you should build him for damage and go in the reverse order, Lamentation first, then Wildfire, and then Innocent Monster last. Salieri's Noble Phantasm is an AoE arch attack that deals damage to all enemies. It decreases their arch resistance and also decreases your party's crit star generating by 20%. On the surface, this Noble Phantasm looks bad, and it does have a number of major drawbacks. For one thing, as an arts AoE Noble Phantasm, it doesn't do much damage. The arch resist down effect also doesn't even trigger until after the damage is done, so Salieri's Noble Phantasm doesn't even benefit from it. And of course, decreasing your party's star generating by 20% is a significant demerit, especially on an arch crit support. That said though, despite the downsides, the arch resist down effect is an extremely valuable debuff on an arts team, as it not only elevates your team's damage, but also their NP gain. So in essence, you're trading 20% star generating for at least a 10% buff to your team's NP gain and damage on arts attacks, which is well worth it, especially since Salieri's first skill makes up for that star gen demerit. So overall, it's a pretty good Noble Phantasm, especially if you can spam it. And that's a theme with Salieri. He has an insanely powerful art support kit. He's able to buff your arts team's damage and P gain and crit consistency all on his own. And thanks to his own high attack power, he can also provide some very good DPS for a 3 star. Even his own low star weight can be beneficial because you don't have to worry about him stealing any of the stars he generates from your damage dealers. All of these buffs come at a cost however as Salieri is a fairly difficult servant to use due to how his skills work being based off of hits rather than turns passed. It can be pretty hard to properly time them. You need to know exactly when to use his defense down and arts buff to maximize their benefits or else you risk wasting them and suffering a 4 turn cooldown. You usually want to save these skills for turns when you can burst down an enemy with an NP brave chain or you have a guaranteed arch crit for maximum MP gain return. Aside from his skill timing, Salieri notably suffers from low HP. He has a minuscule HP stat and no defensive skills whatsoever, which means he's prone to just blowing up even quicker than some berserkers, and he is heavily dependent on supports to stay alive. Also, his lack of a star absorb and his Avenger class hurt his DPS since he'll rarely crit and he can't benefit from the class advantage in the vast majority of cases. So even though his attack is higher than Lu Bu's, don't expect the same type of damage numbers or you'll be sorely disappointed. I mean, he is just a composer after all. As for team comp, Salieri gets along swimmingly with nearly every art servant. His diverse range of buffs and offensive power allow him to feel at home in any kind of art-centric team. But if you want to get the most out of your musical menace, I recommend using him to support heavy-hitting art servants like Saberlot, Robin Hood, and Cheeky Assassin. All three are high burst damage servants who can get the most out of Salieri's short duration buffs. Additionally, they all have good star weights and can benefit from Salieri's constant crit engine. You can also pair Salieri alongside other art supports to further buff his own damage, keep him alive, or provide even more star gen for the team. Among the ideal partners for Salieri are Hans, Tamamo, and ironically Mozart. Tamamo can do a great job of healing and keeping Salieri's cooldowns low, which in turn leads to better DPS. Mozart is an excellent star generator and buff who can complement Salieri's own buffs, and Hans is the best of both worlds as he's an excellent crit engine, he can give damage buffs, and he can heal. Salieri's Bondcraft Essence is Blade of Wildfire. It buffs the arch card effectiveness and NP damage of all allies by 10%. This is a good Bondcraft Essence to use if you're using him primarily as a support. Other good support craft essences include 2030, Demonic Bodhisattva, Seaside Luxury, and His Rightful Place. 
And if you lack any of those craft essences, then anything that generates stars is excellent on Salieri. If you want to improve Salieri's damage, then I recommend using craft essences that either improve your arch card effectiveness or give you a lot of star absorb like Formal Craft, Collide Sapphire, Talk on the Hot Sands, and Seal Designation Enforcer. In the future, keep an eye out for He Who Desires Salvation if you're going for support as it upgrades your overcharge level by 2 for 3 NPs, or Painting Summer for offense as it buffs your NP gain and your arts card effectiveness. Overall, Salieri can do a lot to bolster the damage and consistency of your Arch Servants. He has a rare and powerful debuff in Arch Resist Down. His skills can drastically buff your team's burst damage if timed correctly. He has a powerful star generating engine on his first skill, and he can also provide good damage when built offensively. However, do keep in mind that he is one of the most fragile servants around, and thus he needs to be supported. His skill timing can be situational and hard to use. His his Noble Phantasm has big drawbacks, and despite the high attack stat, he isn't necessarily the best offensive servant due to his lack of class advantage. All these things considered though, I give Salieri an A. He is a high tier 3 star for sure. Salieri has a lot of glaring weaknesses and it can be hard to use him, but what makes him such a valuable servant is that he provides buffing and star generating that is hard to find outside of some of the game's strongest supports. He can deal good damage if properly supported, and he is even usable in late game team comps within the Lost Belts if you're lacking someone like Caster, Gil, or Tamamo. And those are my thoughts on Salieri. Some of you may be aware, but I've already done a spotlight on Salieri, well, a joke spotlight, exactly one year ago to this very day. Now, I'm not saying that I plan the exact release date of this spotlight one year ahead of time to fall perfectly with the anniversary of his joke spotlight and his real release in NA, but I am saying that Merlin ain't the only one out here with Clairvoyant EX. But in any case, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing if you really enjoyed the video. Join the party over at our Discord, show us on Twitch, and follow us on Twitter. And I'll see you all in the next Servant Spotlight. So Roni out. Later.